When we talk about framework uh, of your business, this this concept of franchise prototype, it really, really rings true with me. Um, and I've, I've thought of it. When you start to think of replicating your business 10,000 times, obviously, if you replicate anything, anything 10,000 times, you couldn't possibly be involved in any of them. So you could have no direct responsibility in any of those 10,000 um, businesses that that you're building off of your one franchise prototype that's the mindset you have to apply when building a sustainable business so the question is if you're going to replicate your business 10,000 times how would you have to think about it differently and just asking your que- that question repeatedly maybe you write that question out and you put it on a piece of paper on your wall or on a board in your office or something you know if if I'm going to build you know, 10,000 Damon Gutier and associates around the country, how would I have to think about it differently? It's a really, really, really good question, right? So from that perspective, you've had to, you, you'd have to create systems that would produce without you being involved in IOTA. Maybe you can hire, maybe you can find the lead, the regional lead, for those 10,000 and hire 10 people to run a thousand each of these franchises. But the systems would have to be dialed in and produce consistent and efficient results that minimize people dependency. Even most importantly, dependency on you. So it's just a critical way to shift your thinking around the work we're doing. And I've always had that perspective because I really, E-Myth was the one guiding force uh, along the way. Um, I've always been been separating out the working on versus working in. When I was working on, I wasn't tinkering and changing things for the sake of changing things or looking at websites. I was working on the business with an eye toward building out something that could live on its own. So at the same time, you must liberate your team to do the work that really matters, like implementing the systems with care and competence for your clients. So, uh, Depending on your default leadership theme, you know, we went through the deep default leadership styles or dysfunctional. They call them two different things in E-Myth, but the, I think the, the dysfunctional um, themes, dysfun- dysfunctional business themes, um, it may be tough for you to give up, you know, and empower, um, empower your team in the right way. And you hire the right team members and they can help you build the systems. So systems are dynamic. You don't simply put a system in place, sit back and let it run forever. Systems must be continuously improved or they'll become bottlenecks and roadblocks. And that's kind of the cool thing about when we, we have changes in our business. So when like a Keith, one of my listing partners or Keely um, leaves my business, you know, it really is an opportunity to open things back up and realize, you know, what, what happened here? What did we tweak to fit people? versus how we really want this system to run now that we have a blank slate again. So you look at those opportunities differently um, when you have an eye toward really building something that's truly sustainable.